Let's go over there for some reason. Okay. Ooh. Oh shit! That's what the cube is for. That's what? crazy. We have to speed the cube. Yeah, I think we have to speed the cube through this, and then that activates the uh, platforms on the other side. What? What? You don't see the numbers that correlate to it? Oh, yeah, I guess so. All right, go do that. <laughs> it should automatically slide thanks to the accelerator. Yeah, I know. That's the point. All right, well, better hurry. Go! All right, and... No, we both have to go. Huh? Because there's two override switches. Oh, is there? Shit, yes. how do we do that then? Well, once it's done, we just drop down. <laughs> but now you have to go and do what I did. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I'm going to drop down because I need to get back. Where is Dosh Cube? Uh. Uh, Shit, we have to cut the cube every time, don't we? Yes. Okay. You, you, what are you doing? I'm coating you, the coo. You, you did it all wrong. Do it again. I'm coating the coo. Okay. So you have to drop it and then immediately come back. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. <laughs> are you next to me? Okay. Go. Did we do it? Did we do it? I don't know. Yes. I hear ringing. Huh. Right. Or maybe I just got shell shock. I don't know. Well, something right happened because that's going fucking crazy. Oh yeah, so we, now we can go over here. What? A new door has opened. <laughs> Adventurers. Oh, wait. Uh, what about this other door? What about that door? Well, what's through here? That's where we came from, bitch. Is it? No, this is... Wait, is it? Ah, right, whatever. What? It, what? <laughs> Preposterous. Good? Yes. Okay. There we go. Now we can do what we were trying to do. But have sex? Yes. Without our parents knowing? <laughs> Especially without our parents knowing. It would bring me 3,000 years of shame. So... So now you just go across, right? Yes. Well, we'll do that. <laughs> no, I, I have to <laughs> I have to go up here and ride it and then go through there, I think. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah, because the button's up here where they were standing. Oh, huh, okay. Now I am the Grand Master of Chess. <laughs> Why aren't you jumping high enough? I don't know. There you I go. Don't know how what I, the I don't fuck? Know how, what? It's just your movements were really weird. What are you doing? I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know how I was able to do it that one time. Oh! <laughs> oh it's so close! Ah, there we go. <laughs> I just shot it lower. Oh, I wait. would have made it anyways. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You can like right as it jumps. Wait. I don't understand. That's cool. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to open this door. This door should be open. There we go. Plot will open it. <laughs> Thank you, Plot. Is that camera hooked into the lock? Cold key lock. Try something. What did she say? Cold to we gold pila. Give up now. What? what about that what? camera? Huh? She said we have to try something. And she's saying something about the camera. You did it. But wait, did what? What? <laughs> Did you just have to signal at the camera? Is that all you had to do? Yep, I waved at it. <laughs> okay. The hardest puzzle of them all. <laughs> Is it because you remembered that before? No. Oh. You just you just trying random shit and it worked. 
Well, I figured camera. There's not much you can do with a camera. Other than <laughs> I I was trying to like knock it off or something. Cause, because that's what you do in all the other towns. Did we beat it? Did yep. we win? Well, that's good because we're out of talking points. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> sort of burned through them all because we just we took so fucking long in that one puzzle. And then we cheated it at the end, maybe, perhaps. I don't think that was cheating. I think that was the way it was supposed to be played. Oh wait, I didn't make my point about transhumanism. I just got stymied. Is that? Of course, it's not an issue because we haven't come across anything as intelligent as humans yet, so it's not been an issue. But what happens when robots get smart enough to say like, "Hey, I don't want to do your work for you no more. In fact, I want to be called a person because I'm smart enough to be called a person." Or maybe in fact, I'm even smarter than you. Why is personage qualified? By intelligence, why is it not just being a human? By that, by that because logic, then that means people who are clinically retarded shouldn't be called people. Because to me, we need to make sure that our definition of person isn't so locked down. Because we had issues with that when we had our civil war. Because it's like, oh, you're property. You're not a person, and neither were women. And then it was like, oh, okay. I guess women can be called people too, and I guess the black folk can be called people too. I suppose, not just property. I think so that's I, completely different because we are all under one biological classification. It's right. That, and, and that was just ignorance that did it. It wouldn't be ignorance for robots because it's not under the same biological classification. So for you, it should be just strictly biological? Yes. That no matter how intelligent like, yes. computers may be, they should never be classified as people? Yes. Oh. That's upsetting. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, how about if... Because to me, human means the same thing as person. Okay, so the only way that like a robot could conceivably be called a person is if they made a clone of a person with a blank brain and then they uploaded their robotic personality into that person. Would that I guess. count? <laughs> it, 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 if it, it counts if it's, it's biologically in all ways, shape and form considered human. Is well, see, that, that was considered human? that's what uh, that's what uh, Bicentennial Man was about. Was like he was a self-aware robot, but they refused to grant him personhood because he could not die. And so, like over the course of the movie, he progressively makes himself more human by like giving himself organs and having them like fail over time, so that he could conceivably die or make himself more human than robot. And that was the only way that he was granted personhood. There we go. <laughs> so you agree with that? <laughs> that seems like a really roundabout way for a robot to become a person who could then go on to tout I don't robot see, rights. I don't see, see... No, see, that's the difference. Is I don't... Just because they're not called a person doesn't mean I don't think they should have rights. It just means that they're not a human. Yeah, but the way that we... we so far, the way that we grant rights is through personhood. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> like... Animals don't really have rights because they don't qualify as people. Well, they don't qualify. The reason, the only reason for that is because they're not intelligent enough. Right. So, for, so you you're, see that you're animation to... error that happens on the right side of the screen every single time one gets spawned in. No. I didn't happen there. We'll wait for it. <laughs> it was happening like for like 15 of them straight, and then I was like stopped at all. Then, yeah, it stopped we... completely as soon as I pointed it out. <laughs> You, you, you had a quantum mechanical error. As soon as you pointed so. it out, it fixed itself. Schrodinger's clone. <laughs> um, so we're done, right? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I, I just think, like, you're right. We've never encountered anything as intelligent as us. Right. So we haven't, we haven't really had the problem of having to redefine. That's, do you, that's, do you, that's can simple. you see? Can you see how it would be a problem in the future? as we make something either as intelligent or more intelligent than us? I think we shouldn't grant some... We shouldn't call them people because that's not what they are, uh -huh. but we should definitely give them the same rights after a while. And you think we'll be able to do that without personhood? <laughs> like, you're yes. still an object, you're still a thing, but you have all the same rights as we do. You don't see any issues with that? <laughs> I don't personally. I don't know how everyone else uh -huh. would be. See, there's like, happening again. You don't see it? No. 
Because I think that was like a, a similar issue that was kind of like that was like gay marriage. It was like, can we call it something else and say we'll give you all the same rights? Separate but equal, you mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think we have a good track record of that never working. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll say it'll be equal. And then you have to go through, like, all the rigmarole again. And it's like, like no, no, no. See, that's something that marriage can have, but not, I don't know. We'll go with the South Park route. But buddyism doesn't get. <laughs> but buddy. <laughs> but buddies. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't. Why don't we just say, like, some something that's sapient means that it's, uh, it has rights. So, like, sapi sapienthood. Sapienthood? Yeah. S Self-awareness. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I can see that. We'll we'll see how that goes in the coming years. <laughs> this will this will be the thing that they play at the court trial. <laughs> these these guys got it right. These wow, two that's... bumbling fuckwits didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> oh, that was a very Jewish name, Zoid Kirsch. Uh, I thought you said bumbling fuckwit. Oh man, I totally forgot that Wheatley Nolan was done by North Steve, and Stephen Dee Bradley Merchant. Baker. Uh, two people that are in too many things. Everything. That was one of my problems with Gears of War Four. Was you know how like Marcus Phoenix looked like you know a, a war hardened soldier and sure. you know badass and everything. Uh huh. In the you play as his son in the sequel for the campaign, and he looks. And it looks, looks like, like every other girl. fucking generic <laughs> first-person shooter character ever, you know. Just, it's just FPS cute boy face. Exactly. You know, like so the really... Japanese. So the Japanese. No, no, not cute boy. It's, <laughs> not cute it's, boy. Uh, it's um sort of like what they did with uh, the Wolfenstein guy, where it's just like perfect hairline, perfect uh, face. So he's just perfect. There's no flaws. Yeah, like he exactly. would accumulate in a war zone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect face, amazing jawline. It's just like, really? I mean, you don't look like you've seen that much battle, man. Look, Yet you're confetti. like, I served under the cog. And that's the other thing is like, Marcus Phoenix has like a really original voice. You've never fucking heard well, something quite like that. It's because they actually got John before. DiMaggio's. I know. You know. I, I I swear, if it's not Nolan North, it's a Nolan North sound alike. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah, hey, everybody, I am generic third-person shooter number 20. Like, I and thought John DiMaggio did a really good job because he doesn't sound like anything else that John DiMaggio has done. Yeah, exactly. The, the, I think, like, the closest he was to that voice was uh, with... Uh, uh, what was that cartoon show where he plays, like... He only says one thing. Rada. Chowder. Yeah, Chowder. Now, he doesn't sound that much thing. like Marcus Phoenix to me. No, not no, really. He sounds exactly like Marcus Phoenix, and he has used that voice before in the, I think either the first or the second episode of the Boondocks. He plays a, an extra character oh, where okay. where um, Uncle Rock is like, call black, call black, we got a call black out here. <laughs> and then um, John DiMaggio picks up the walkie-talk, and he's like, Ruckus, what the hell is a code black? It oh, sounds okay. almost exactly like Marcus <laughs> Phoenix. But it was, you know, a couple of years before they actually even Yeah, made it the was game, it was so. and it was like it was just like a, a like D character, so it doesn't really matter. Like no one's gonna yeah. remember him for that, except for you. Except for, for me. <laughs> Alright. So you wanna call it there? Oh well my money back. <laughs>